This is your review on slope fields. So I already writ, wrote some of this down already, but uh, the graph of a differential equation is a slope field. Each point is drawn as a mini line with that evaluated slope at that point. So you're going to have these little lines, and each line has their own slope at each point. Then a solution to the differential equation can be drawn on the graph following the slopes that you drew. So here's an example. Press pause, uh, dr write this uh, equation down, draw this graph, press pause, then when you're ready, press play. So this differential equation only involves x. Sometimes it only involves y, and then it would be uh, horizontally. So like here would be y equals 2, y equals 1, y equals 0, and negative 1, negative 2. And sometimes it's only x, and sometimes it involves both, and that takes longer. But for the, this one, all you have to do is know the x-coordinate and multiply it times 2. So I'm going to change the color here to blue. And so if I start in the middle at 0, so if I plug in 0 for x, 2 times 0 is 0. So every single point here where x is 0, the slope is 0, which is a horizontal line. So each one here is a horizontal line. Then if I go to 1, so every point where the x coordinate's 1, I plug it in 2 times 1. That gives me a slope of 2. So I estimate the slope of 2. Then if I plug in 2, it has a slope of 4, right? 2 times 2 is 4, so it's even steeper. So I got to make sure I draw that nice and steep. And I'm kind of estimating it, but I'm making sure I'm consistent how I do it. On the negative side, if I plug in negative 1, I get negative 2. So I draw a slope at negative 2. And then if I plug in negative 2, I get negative 4. That's even steeper negative. And then you have a uh, whole graph full of little lines with slopes on it. If I said draw the solution through a point, so draw the solution uh, through the point, and I'd have to pick a point, like uh, let's say I draw it through 0 and negative 2. I would find 0 and negative 2. Let's see if I can get another color here. Here, So 0 and negative 2, so right here. And then I would follow the lines, and it would tell me how to draw it. So at 0, negative 2, to the right, it's rising steeply. And to the left, it's rising steeply. And just recognize that a horizontal line most of the time means a turning point because when the derivative is zero it's a turning point so you can see this is a turning point think oh what does that remind you of well we can also solve it so that's solving it by graphing is by solving the differential equation so if i take this and separate the variables and then i integrate both sides i get y equals x squared plus c does not look like a parabola and then I can plug in the point I used for here. So x is 0 and y is negative 2. And then I can solve for c and go, wait a second, I just graphed y equals x squared take away 2 using calculus tools. I took the differential equation, I made a slope field, I drew a solution through 0, negative 2. And then I, I plugged in those points, I uh, separated the variables and integrated, solve for y plugged in 0 and negative 2, and I did it both ways. So you can solve the differential equation with the slope field, and you can solve it by separating, integrating, and solving for y. All right, that was a quick review on uh, slope fields. I hope that helped. Mr. G Math, over now.